Okay, let's do sorting. Okay, we'll be doing sorting today, okay? Right. Right. Yes. Right. Sorting means sorting means arranging the data in either ascending or descending order. Sorting means arranging the data in either ascending or descending order. Sorting means arranging the data in either ascending or descending order. Sorting means arranging the data in either ascending or descending order. of sorting types of sorting types of sorting right selection sort bubble sort insertion sort heap sort merge sort and quick sort type of sorting selection sort bubble sort insertion sort heap sort merge sort or quick sort Okay, see, in sorting, now there are various types of, six types of sorting I have given, okay. Uh, in your professional, you can learn any of them, if you know. You can continue with that, okay. But, in your ICSC, class 10, only two sort has been added, selection sort and bubble sort. Okay, in class 12, only one sort sorting is there after that, that is insertion sort. Okay, rest will not do. Okay, but there is a if you are a if you are a BTEC student, then you need to do heap sort, merge sort, or quick sort also. Okay. Now selection sort, bubble sort, insertion sort. The new thing, new sorting technique that we will be applying is insertion sort is this case. Right. After that, see now first we will do selection sort. Okay. Okay. Uh, do one thing. Let's not do selection sort. Let's do bubble sort first because there were some students who were asking me to revise bubble sort. So let me start with bubble sort. Okay. Now in bubble sort, see what happens is that. Let me draw this diagram to explain you Okay, suppose the question is create an array to take any five numbers as an input and sort the elements of an array in ascending order using bubble sort technique. Okay, the question is you need to create an array. So let me create an array. ARR equals to new int. 
the size is 5 let's say let me take two variable i and j okay scan a class after that for i equals to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus after that arr i position equals to ac dot next int let me take input of array now the five elements that you have taken input let's let me consider these are the number 28 16 minus 1 okay let's say this is 0 okay 0 2 and minus 1 these are the five values let let us consider 28 16 0 2 and minus 1 now in bubble sorting what happens is that the 0th position will be compared with one position 0 with 2 0 with 3 0 with 4 0 with 5 okay that was select sorry sorry that was selection sort in bubble sort 0 will be compared with 1 1 with 2 2 with 3 3 with 4 that means 0 with 1 1 with 2 2 with 3 so there is there is two loop outer and inner okay so inner loop will be compared with inner loop plus one inner loop will be compared with inner loop plus one understood so see your loop will be the size of array is five minus two always it will be size of array minus two so it is three in this case why because it is the size of array is five okay your loop will run until and unless i is greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus now why i have taken i equals to 3 you will understand later but you can do in another method also both the method i will show you for 0 j less than or equal to i j plus plus after that see if arr i arr j greater than arr j plus 1 as I have already told you that your uh, comparison will be done with 0 with 1, 1 with 2, 2 with 3. Okay. So, in 10 equals to ARRJ, ARRJ equals to ARRJ plus 1 and ARRJ plus 1 equals to 10. Now see over here, this is my temporary memory location, okay. Now what is happening? The value of i is 3, j is 2, a j is 0. 0 less than equal to 3? Yes. So arr 0 greater than arr 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 position greater than 1 position? Yes. 28 is found to be greater than 60. So what happens? That 0 position element, I will put arr 0 position element in 10. So, what will be the value of 10? The value of 0 position will come and store in 10. Okay. Then after that, ARR J. J means what? J means 0. So, in ARR 0 position, what is coming? ARR 0 plus 1. 1 position is coming and storing in 0 position. Okay. After that, ARR 0 plus 1 is 1. In 1 position, what is coming? 10. The value of 10 is coming and storing in 0 plus 1 position that is 10 will come and store in 1 position 0 2 minus 1 after that your loop will run the value of j increases okay the value of j was 0 now it becomes 1 1 less than equal to 3 yes now again it comes over here arr j means 1 arr 1 greater than arr 1 plus 1 is 2 1 position greater than 2 position 28 greater than 0? Yes. So, ARR 1 position will come and store in 10. So, ARR 1 position, what do you have got? 28, that will come and store in 10. That is 28 will come and store in 10. ARR 1 position, the value of ARR 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 position is coming. So, the value of 2 position will come and store in 1 position. That is 0 will come over here. After that, ARR 1 plus 1 is 2. In 2 position, what is coming? The value of 10. 
the value of 10 is almost 28 will come and store over here 2 minus 1 and 16 after that again loop runs the value of j is almost now 2 2 less than equal to 3 yes here are 2 position greater than here are 2 plus 1 is 3 2 position greater than 3 position yes 28 is greater than 2 again so the value of 2 position will be common in store in 10 so 28 will come in store in 10 and in 2 position what will come 2 plus 1 is 3 position will come so the value of 3 position will come in store in 2 position and after that ARR 2 plus 1 is 3 A, yes 2 plus 1 is 3 in 3 position the value of 10 will come that is 28 will come in store over here minus 1 0 and 16 okay after that it goes up the value of J now will be 3 3 lesser than equal to 3 yes ARR 3 position is it greater than ARR 3 plus 1 is 4 28 greater than minus 1 yes so again in the value of 3 position will come in store in 10 3 position will come in store in 10 and in 3 position what is coming 3 plus 1 is 4th position value is coming and in ARR 3 plus 1 is 4 what is coming the value of 10 that is 28 2060 so the first sorted element will be stored in 4th position after that it goes up loop will terminate ok where the value of i was 3 in this case now the value of i decreases it becomes how much 2 see here in our loop now will be running till where 2 position but the last comparison will be made with 2 with 3 ok it will make it will be compared with 2 with 3 16 0 2 minus 1 and 28 this is already sorted now you don't have to compare this okay that's why your loop will be running till 2 but comparing with 3 okay so the value of i decreases now i decreases it becomes 2 now 2 greater than equal to 0 yes now j is 0 again 0 less than equal to 2 yes ARR 0 position greater than ARR 1 position 16 greater than 0 yes again 0 position value will come and store in 10 so the value of 0 position will come and store in 10 where the value of 10 now will be how much the value of 10 will be the value of 0 position that is 16 ok then ARR 0 position what is coming 0 plus 1 position 1 position value will come and store in 0 position that is 0 and in ARR 0 plus 1 one position the value of 10 is coming that is 16 is coming and storing over here 2 minus 1 and 28 after that the value of j increases now it becomes 1 1 less than equal to 2 yes now one position and two position is comparing over here 16 greater than 2 yes no if it is yes then the value of one position is coming and storing in 10 so 16 will come and store in 10 okay and in one position what is coming 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 position value is coming, in 1 position 2 position value is coming, that is 2, ok, and in 2 position what is coming, the value of 10, that is 16, minus 1, 28 and 0, after that the value of j increases, now the value of j will be 2, 2 less than equal to 2, yes, now ARR 2 position is getting compared with 2 plus 1 is 3, 16 greater than minus 1, yes, again, okay. 2 position value stored in 10 that is 16 will go and store in 10 and in 2 position what is coming 2 plus 1 is 3 third position is coming in storing 2 position after that 2 plus 1 is 3 in third position what is coming the value of 10 that is 16 28 2 0 you can see after that loop will terminate in a loop will terminate when the value of j is 3 3 less than equal to 2 no loop will, loop will terminate you will see the two elements is already sorted now okay that's why we call bubble sort as the value will be sorted from downwards and it comes up so the value bubbles okay so see after that the value of i which was 2 now becomes 1 so 0 2 minus 1 16 and 28 now the value of i has become 1 now the last comparison will be done with 1 with 2 1 greater than equal to 0 yes j is 0 0 less than equal to 1 yes arf 0 position greater than 1 position 
This two values check now. Zero greater than two? No. Zero is not greater than two, which means the condition does not satisfy over here. Interchange will not take place. So the value of j increases in this case, and j becomes one. One less than equal to one? Yes. See when if the value is not change then it remains same okay after that the value of j increases it has become one one less than equal to one yes now arr one position greater than arr one plus one is two one position greater than two position yes two is greater than minus one hence what happens again the value of one position will come in store in 10 so the value of 10 changes over here the value of 10 will be how much the value of one position. So the value of one position that is 2 will come in store in 10. And in ARR one position what is coming? The value of 1 plus 1 is 2. So the value of 2 position will come in store in 1 position. And finally ARR one plus 1 is 2. In 2 position what is coming? The value of 10. That is 2. 28. Oh sorry 16. And 28. Now see over here, after that loop will terminate, you can see over here, the third element is also sorted now. Now the value of i will be 0. 0 greater than or equal to 0, yes. See the element in 0 position, your values are in this way. Now, the uh, value of i is 0, okay. The value of j is 0. 0 less than or equal to 0, yes. Now, ARR 0 greater than ARR 0 plus 1. That is 1. These two values will be checked now. 0 position, that is 0 greater than minus 1, yes. So, again, the value of 10 changes in this case. The value of 10 will be how much? The value of 10 will be 0 position greater than 1 position, yes. 0 position value will come in store in 10. So, the value of 10 will be how much over here? The value of temp will be 0. Okay. And AR at 0 position, what is coming? The value of 1 position, that is minus 1. And in AR 1, what is coming? The value of temp, that is 0. 2, 16, 28. Okay. After that, it will go, it will be how much? Minus 1. Minus 1 less than equal to 0? No. Loop will terminate. I also will be minus 1. Minus 1 greater than equal to 0? No. Loop will terminate. Okay, after this, after this, what you need to do is that you need to print now SOPLN the sorted elements are for i equals to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus, then display the adding elements system.out.print. I am writing short form ARR i position. So, 0 position value will be printed, 1 position, 2 position like that, it will be printed. Okay. Now, in this case, most of the books, not most of the books, what I found was that, in, in if you google it also, then you will find, in this condition, in this loop, okay, your loop will be given in this way, i equals to 0, i less than equal to n i plus plus what is n n is the number of element let's say n is 5 5 elements are there okay after that for j equals to 0 j less than equal to n minus i plus 1 the condition is given in this way where i have written c what I have written? i equals to size of array minus 3. This two will run same. This and this are same. Okay. But in your book or in if you see also, okay, same thing will be followed. But don't make it complex. Why do you want to create a complex over here? Just write size of array minus 1. Size of array minus 3. 2. If there are 100 elements, you have to start from 98. If there are n elements, then you have to write n minus 2. Okay. Because see over here, in this case also, the size of array is how much? 5. 5 minus 0 plus 1 is how much? 
This one will be there, okay? Sorry, it is like this, like this, okay? It is in this way. Like, over here, how many times it is running? Tell me. Size is 5. 5 minus 0 plus 1 is 1. That is 4. It is running till less than 4. So it is running from 0 to 3. And how many times it is running over here? 0 to 3 only. Now next, the value of i increases. It becomes 5 minus 1 plus 1 is 2. That becomes it runs till less than 3 which is 0 to 2. This is also same. It is running the value of i decreases. It is also running 0 to 2 only. Isn't it? After that, the value of let's say i increases. i becomes how much now? 2. i becomes 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. So it is running 0 to 1. Okay? Over here, when i over here also, when i decreases, it is running till it becomes 1. 1 greater than or equal to 0, yes, it is running 0 and 1. Okay, so these two logics are same. Don't follow this. This is too complicated. It will be too complicated for you. Okay, so instead of that, you can directly write size of a array minus 1. Okay, now we will do this much only today.